And now the Colorado Mesa University women's rugby team is your new national champion. We sent our Michael Lagerwell down to the rugby pitch to interview CMU's newest national champs. It started with failure. Uh, it started the moment we drove back and like got on our flights from Connecticut. The Colorado Mesa women's rugby sevens team lost a heartbreaker in the championship game to the Coast Guard Academy last year. I remember sitting in nationals getting those second place medals and all of us were just, we could just feel the team drowned. Because they came up short, um, it was able to hone in on that um, energy and that emotion that they're in in that moment. I had them all write a letter to themselves and then commit every day forward of controlling the controllables. And I think that just fueled the fire. Several players told me their goals for the 2023 spring season were to bring home the hardware. Our mindset was we can win this national championship. And it showed. Heading into the national championship game, the Mavs held an exceptional 18-2 and record. We face you know, D1 schools and we're still able to compete, still able to beat them. More than beat, dominate. And this with a squad who never really played rugby before they stepped on Mesa's campus. We're ex-soccer players, um, old track kids. Um, we played basketball and swam and um, did all cheerleading. Um, we did all sorts of other sports. Coach Lewis told me that's actually perfect for rugby. The really cool thing about rugby is it really needs every type of person. It needs the tall, skinny kids. It needs the big workhorses. It needs the little fast guys. There's a spot on the field for everybody in rugby. Then, towards the end of May, they wound up here in Dallas, the championship game with a roster made up of athletes who are relative rugby rookies facing a team who just beat them the day before, the San Jose State Spartans. Now let's get right into the highlights. It's a rainy day in Dallas, Texas as CMU kicks off to start the second half. A 7-0 lead quickly dissipates after a dangerous tackle call on CMU means they have to play six on seven for the rest of the game and San Jose would immediately capitalize, streaking down the field and scoring a try, tying it up at seven apiece, but they're not done yet. They scored again, making it 14 to seven, and now down to 30 seconds left. From the outside, things are certainly looking bleak. And yet? I'm thinking we're gonna win. I keep telling myself, like, we're gonna win, we're gonna win, we're gonna win. I don't remember thinking a lot. It was just a lot of doing. We just had to move the ball, we know we're fast. Um, so again, we just had to move it to like our faster kids. And the Mavs did just that. After streaking down the field, freshman Taya Smith crosses the goal line. And after the conversion, well, we've got a tie game, folks. Taya scored and her mom had been on the phone with her the day before asking if she had scored a touchdown. And she was like, no, mom, they got me every time. And then she got to score the try that like tied it up. Now, technically, time has expired, but rugby games only end after a stoppage in play. Time's out, so we know that the moment that you know any mistakes happen it's over cmu recovers the rugby ball on the kickoff watching the ball swing one side across the field and then come back your heart's just racing riley as soon as she placed it down we knew and she made this little pose just like this everybody was shouting we just ran and we just hugged everybody and and you could just tell it was this pure joy. There were so many times in that game where we thought we weren't going to win when we went down 6-7, when like XYZ happened, when it started to pour, like we thought there were so many things in our way, but oh, we did it. CMU women's rugby reached the top of the mountain and now they're looking to hold that plateau. But beyond that, they want to be a varsity team. We're trying to push it. We'll see someday if the numbers pan out and they're all right. Um, we've gone through a handful of athletic directors. Colorado Mesa's website shows Joan McDermott is the sitting intern athletic director. Hopefully we at some point um, have raised enough attention to um, have that legitimate talk and conversation and see um, what it will take to, to make this team a varsity program. And one thing's for sure, they've earned it. First on the Western Slope, Michael Loggerwell, KREX 5 News. Now with the championship this spring, the women's rugby sevens team becomes the third national championship team in Colorado Mesa University history. You can catch the women's rugby team playing 15s, a more traditional rugby this fall, where they're gearing up for another championship run. 